फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू द क्यू फोर अर्निंग सीजन फ्रेंड्स फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीक मंडे एंड ट्यूजडे दैट इज़ द सेवेंथ एंड एथ में फोर कंपनी विल बी गोइंग टू अनाउंस दैट रिजल्ट दैट फोर मेजर कंपनी ऑफ विच एच डी एफ सी लिमिटेड विल बी गोइंग टू अनाउंस दैट रिजल्ट ऑन द मंडे ऑन द फंडामेंटल साइड एच डी एफ सी लिमिटेड बैंक हैज़ रिपोर्टेड सिंस लास्ट थ्री क्वार्टर कंपनी हैज़ रिपोर्टेड कंसिस्टेंटली थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ग्रोथ इन दैट टॉप लाइन हावेवर ऑन द पैट फ्रंट कंपनी इज गोइंग इज रिपोर्टेड टेन परसेंट ग्रोथ ईयर ऑन ईयर इन दैट लास्ट क्वार्टर कंपेरेटिवली कंपेरेटिव टू अदर प्राइवेट बैंक एच डी एफ सी लिमिटेड हैज़ अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एन आई एम विच इज़ द फोर पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट फॉर द फर्स्ट थ्री क्वार्टर एंड ऑन द सिमिलर ग्राउंड ग्रॉस एन पी ए ऑफ द एच डी एफ सी बैंक एच डी एफ सी लिमिटेड हैज अ अराउंड पॉइंट एट टू परसेंट एज अगेंस्ट पॉइंट एट फाइव परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर कंसिडरिंग द फैक्ट दैट द स्टॉक हैज करेक्टेड ऑलमोस्ट टेन परसेंट पोस्ट आर बी आई रेट कट इन अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड द बेज ऑन द फंडामेंटल एंड द सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ फॉर द एच डी एफ सी लिमिटेड वी फील दैट वन कैन टेक बाइंग अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑन द रिजल्ट अनाउंसमेंट सपोज ऑन एनी फॉल ड्यूरिंग द रिजल्ट अनाउंसमेंट वन कैन टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एज अ बाइंग अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर द लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट आउट ऑफ लास्ट फाइव रिजल्ट अनाउंसमेंट एच डी एफ सी लिमिटेड हैज़ अ बिट मार्केट एस्टिमेट इन द थ्री रिजल्ट अनाउंसमेंट सो बेज ऑन देर कंसिस्टेंट गुड ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड वी बिलीव कंपनी विल बी गोइंग टू अनाउंस गुड रिजल्ट एंड वन कैन टेक द फॉल अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर द इन्वेस्टमेंट इन दिस एच डी एफ सी लिमिटेड Let's now have a technical check on uh, HDFC Limited, which is uh, to be announcing its results on seventh. Uh, if we go on to see in the chart, uh, we can see that the stock has corrected uh, in the past one month, and it has now come close to the demand zone of six uh, sixty around six fifty nine, six forty eight. So one looks to uh, one should look to buy uh, in that demand zone with a stop loss at six forty seven, for a target of around six eighty five and seven zero one. Uh, the support one level is 647 as i said support two can be seen at 632 resistance one at 685 and 701 if we go on to see the 8 days moving average is at 670.3 uh, whereas 13 day moving average uh, is at uh, 673 the wild swing trade supports uh, for uh, hdfc limited are at 632 whereas resistance can be seen uh, long term resistance uh, can be seen at 725 So, in short, uh, one should look uh, uh, this uh, as a good uh, buying opportunity after this fall. And uh, once it has entered the demand zone, one can keep a stop loss just below the demand zone at six forty seven. And targets of six eighty five and seven zero one could be seen in HDFC Limited. Friends, second company is the Hindalco Limited. Hindalco will be going to announce their result on the Tuesday, 8th May. On the result front, friends, we are expecting Hindalco net sales will be grew by 8% Q on Q to rupees 6,928 crore, which is the driven by higher LME prices. Average LME prices, aluminium and the copper price have increased by 5% and 10% Q on Q. to us dollar 2226 per ton and us dollar 8318 per ton respectively hindalco ebit we are expected to increase by 6% q on q to rupees 760 crore friends out of the last six result announcement by the hindalco has beaten street estimate by the four times on the valuation front due to heavy correction in the price of the hindalco shares which is down by 47% year on year basis till date we are expecting valuation front hindalco is standing at attractive investment position if the company came out with the stellar numbers then stock may provide the good buy opportunity for the investors friends hindalco will be going to announce their stand alone numbers and on the consolidated front in next two months hindalco will be going to announce annual consolidated number after consolidating novelis number on the novelis numbers front we are expecting to report stable earning despite our prolonged slowdown assumption in developed countries 
because of the segment in which novel is is catering is the cans and the luxury cars where even after slow down in the european market in this two segment company is doing good business on the while reducing the capacity and the high production costs we are expecting downside for the aluminium prices is a limited and of no doubt potential upside for the aluminium prices is also limited due to the very weak demand from the chinese market but at the current aluminium price we are expecting novelist will be going to announce stable numbers so based on the expectation of the hindas co stand alone numbers and the likely announcement of the stable numbers from the novelist front we are advising to our investors they can take this opportunity to invest in the hindalco on the falling in their price next stock uh, it's hindalco hindalco as we have seen it has uh, in a downtrend line and it has not broken that downtrend line as can be seen on the graph uh, one feels that the stock uh, Uh, has been beaten down quite a bit and uh, it has now entered a, a strong demand zone uh, of around uh, 113 uh, 116 so one should look to buy it uh, on the results opportunity uh, the stop loss being at 113 just below the demand zone whereas uh, second stop loss can be kept at 110 whereas resistance one that is r1 can be ke- uh, seen at 121 and uh, r2 is at uh, 130 So eight days moving average. If we go on to see, it's at 119.3, uh, whereas uh, 13 days moving average is uh, uh, is at 120.7. And in the current downfall, we have seen that the eight days was continuously trading below the 13 days moving average. And once uh, it is close to the demand zone, one can look to buy uh, for a pullback uh, uh, on the results day, uh, which is on seventh. So, if we go on to see the stock is in demand zone by around 116, stop loss at 113, target of 121 and 130 could be seen in Hindalco. Friends, another company is the IDFC Limited. Company will be going to announce their numbers on the 8th May. IDFC Limited has a consistently posting strong credit growth. in q3 which is a 20% plus growth and on based on that growth we are expecting for the year idfc will be going to announce similar number of credit growth we expect loan book grew by 25% year on year in fourth quarter fy12 spread will be remain stable which will be around 2.3% to 2.4% and the assets quality of the company also will be remain stable we are expecting gross gross net performing assets is a 0.3% on the income front income from the principal investment is likely to decline during this quarter basis on one off gain were booked by the idfc during second and third quarter but on the institutional broking business idfc may witness some improvement in the revenue led by the higher market volume during this quarter but however on the revenue from the assets management side and investment banking related activities we expect some subdued revenue for the idfc friends no doubt on the infrastructure space is a very challenging since last few quarters but we believe idfc is a standing on the very strong ground the company has now started booking profit from its investment books on the regular basis earlier they have the strategy of keeping their investment intact but now they have started and cashing their investment which will be help to improve their roe we believe the recent share price correction will be the good opportunity for the investment in the idfc friends out of the last eight quarter result announcement five times I- idfc has announced better than street estimate their numbers so one can look positively for the idfc for investment opportunity during this correction phase let's now have a technical check on idfc idfc as we have seen uh, it is also uh, in a falling uh, channel or or in a downtrend uh, one look to see is that uh, uh, the stock is uh, 
close to the demand zone which is uh, uh, around 111 to 107 the current market price is 114 so once uh, it enters the demand zone one can look to buy around 110 111 levels with the stop loss at 107 for a target of uh, 123 and 132 uh, as can be seen in the chart uh, one looks uh, that the downtrend line uh, is at 126.5 so that would be the uh, final target for the stock uh, in this current downtrend uh, if we are to see a pullback. The current market price uh, is 114.2, support 1 can be seen at 107, support 2 can be seen at 105, whereas resistance 1 can be seen at 123 and uh, resistance 2 can be seen at 126.5. The 8 days moving average is at 98, whereas 13 days moving average is at 101. So one should look to buy on dips and uh, near the demand zone of 111 to 107 with a stop loss just below the demand zone and a target of 123 and 126.5. Uh, Friends, now fourth company is the Kotak Mahindra Bank will be going to announce their result on the Tuesday 8th May. Kotak Mahindra Bank has a posting top line growth of around 40% for the last three quarters. Even on the net profit front, bank has been reported growth of 20% year on year for the last three quarter. The bank has a very strong NIM ratio. However, they slip marginally from 5% in December 2010 quarter to 4.7% in December 2011 quarters. The bank's assets quality ratio is also stable with the net NPA at 0.47% in December 2011 quarter. No doubt friends, at current market price, Kotak Mahindra Bank is trading at very premium revaluation among its peers. And any deterioration in fundamental like growth, NIM, NPA could cause a correction in the stock price. Out of last five quarter result announcement, four times bank has reported their numbers better than street expectation. We believe on this correction one can buy that stock but one can add this stock in their portfolio for the investment purpose only on the correction phase because at current price stock is looks very highly valued and one can take this opportunity to invest this bank from the long-term prospect only on correction and not at the current market price Let's have a technical check on Kotak Mahindra Bank. As can be seen in the chart that the stock uh, uh, has uh, retreated from its uh, earlier supply zone of 602 to 592 and it is facing uh, resistance around those levels. Right now it is uh, in between the demand zone and supply zone. So once uh, we see a dip in the market, uh, one can look to uh, take this dip as a buying opportunity in the demand zone uh, which is at 547 and 531. So uh, if we are to see buy near 545, 550 range with a stop loss uh, being kept at 540, 531 for a target of uh, 586 and 594 in Kotak Bank. The current market price is 564.1. Stop loss uh, support 1 can be seen at 536. Support 2 can be seen at 527. Whereas resistance 1 can be seen at 586 uh, uh, and resistance 2 can be seen at 594. Uh, the positive thing uh, for the stock is that 8 days moving average uh, uh, is at 577.7 which is uh, just a tad below uh, above the uh, 13 days moving average which, which is at 576.6. So it is uh, in a positive uh, uh, crossover whereas uh, the stock is in between the demand and supply zone. So one should look to buy on dips in the stock uh, with uh, close to the demand zone. That is 545-550 levels with the stop loss just uh, a tad below the demand zone uh, lower uh, channel at uh, 531.